Hi, I'm Peter Holcomb. I'm with Famagogo. My family and I travel full-time in this Winnebago Revel. We're in the process of taking it around the world. I'm a photographer, my wife's a writer. Every bit of work we do is done in the field, so this is actually my office and my home. Being in remote places like this and getting to work this way is really awesome, but it also has some challenges. We needed a place for my daughter to sleep. Winnebago has a bed system that folds out through here. The downside to that is I can't work when the bed is deployed because the only table was over here on the back wall and it's covered up when the bed's deployed. And so being able to have her have full access to the space she needs to sleep and just to really just hang out um, meant that really this wasn't gonna be an effective solution for us. So what did we do? Well, we looked all over the Revel thinking of what might be a good option. How could we make a, a decent workspace to give me the space I need and not infringe on the rest of the family? So after weighing all the options, I really honed in on the cockpit was the only place where I was gonna be able to set up a workstation and work effectively and not be in the way of everyone else. So looking at the passenger side, I thought it has the depth that I need, but I needed to figure out a way to support it. Then I came up with the idea, what if I suspended it from the ceiling? So now I want to just kind of run you through what I use, how it works for me. This was definitely a, a bit of an evolution. With space being a premium, I had to figure out a great place to store this workstation too. That was really important. So what I came up with is there's a little bit of space here next to the toilet. And here is my desk. What we've got here is a piece of really nice, smooth plywood, smooth on both sides, no knots. Sanded the heck out of it. I cut it in a shape that it fits perfectly on the dash. You'll see that in a second when it's in its spot. In addition to that, it has some accessory cord. You can get this at an outdoor store or maybe even most hardware stores. And just a simple hole through there with a, a barrel knot on the back end. And then um, these two carabiners. And these carabiners are adjustable using a clove hitch. So you can make this thing any height that you want it when it's set up. But the big thing is it's light, it's small and compact, it fits right next to the toilet when it's stowed, you barely even know it's there, and it's really fast and easy to deploy. Let me take you into the front and I want to show you how this sets up. Now I'm in the passenger seat, I've got the seat all the way back, which does make it a little easier because there's just a little more room. I'm going to pull my desk up. I've got a couple of little pieces of 3M removable Velcro. There's a piece on here and a piece on here. This just gives it a little something to bite on with a little bit of pressure. It sets onto the Velcro. Probably also helps protect the dash a little bit because that 3M stuff will come right off if I ever wanted to take it off. This aluminum shelf that's over my head that comes in the Revels, I drilled a hole through it. A hole big enough so I can double this cord. I can double it and then tie a stopper knot in the back and when I stuff it through, it gives me just enough of a loop to clip a carabiner through. And so that's hanging right here. And it was really important that you get the position of that, left, right, forward, back, so that it's pulling properly on your table and it's balanced. I'm gonna clip this one in. On the other side, I've got one more, and it simply goes through the bracket where the shelf mounts to the side of the van. It's real easy, it's just a loop that hangs down and I clip it. Now my workstation's set up. It's super stable and I'm ready to set up my computer. When I'm ready to get to work, it's really nice that I have this Mercedes seat. I can slide it forward, I can raise it up and down, I can make the back tilt forward or backwards, and it really allows me to get in a nice ergonomic position to be able to work. I find it really handy that I can leave my computer set up the only time I'll take it down is if we have to drive somewhere. While we're traveling, I stow a lot of my equipment up here on this awesome shelf. I've got in here my laptop case that um, holds a lot of my hard drives, my smaller backup hard drives. It's got my laptop, it's got my Wacom tablet. That all comes down. I use my Bose headphones. These things are dreamy. They allow you to really no matter what's going on around you, block out everything and for me just to focus and get to work. And then I have my hard drive, which I use a RAID drive that then I back up to smaller drives. 
I keep them off site too when I'm traveling around. I try to um, never have all my data in the van in case it gets stolen or something awful happens. But the nice thing about this is the only thing I have to deploy are these power cords. With these two cords plugged in right below the bench seat, I can power everything I need for my workstation. Now I do have to make sure my inverter is turned on here, and it is, and now I have power. It's powered off the alternators we drive or off the solar panels on the roof. It runs the three Group 31 batteries that are built into this Revel. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up front and I'm gonna set everything up. One thing that's really nice and kind of minimizing the clutter of cables going everywhere is I'm able to run the cords to the back side of this, of this shelf. And there's a little bit of a gap here where I can run them through. They sit right here on the top of the, the sun visor when we're not using them. But I can just pull these right down and they reach perfectly to connect right in and give me power and access to my hard drives. With the accessory cord here, I have some excess cord. This excess cord just allows me to raise and lower my desk and using the clove hitch here, I can adjust it to be at any angle that I want it to be. Overall, I'm really happy with this setup. I've used it in 23 countries. We took our Revel to Europe last summer and this is the only place that I worked was in the van. One challenge, I think with anyone who's working mobily in an RV or a van is your power consumption and having enough power to get you through a work day. Normally for light tasks and you know, an hour, two, three, here and there, it's no problem running everything just off the batteries in the Revel. It's nice to kind of maintain that if we're having an exceptionally large work day. I hope this video has helped you guys. Any of you with Revels or Sprinter vans, maybe this is a solution for you to be able to work on the road more efficiently. If you want more tips like this and want to see the amazing places that we get to travel to, click subscribe. See you down the road. Famagogo out.